Hey guys, what's up? And welcome to a quick unboxing of the MSI's version of the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980. Now, uh, I was waiting for the 980 Ti to come out because it's almost uh, a certainty that that will be a thing. Um, but I had the funds now and I don't know if I was going to have the funds in the future, so I went for it and um, I'm glad I did. So I ordered this Friday, it's now Saturday and it is here. So. Starting off, we have this little MSI package. So we have this uh, quick start user's guide thing. A driver CD, which we won't need. And that is it. Great, fantastic. Moving on, move this bit of plastic and we're presented with the graphics card itself. So this uses the same um, cooler used on the GTX uh, Titan Black Edition. So it has the sort of tinted uh, window there and the black writing. But this doesn't actually use a vapor chamber, it uses just direct touch uh, copper heat pipes. So, we take out the card. Okay, so you haven't seen this card before, this is basically uh, NVIDIA's 900 series, they skipped the 800 series, so I'm upgrading for a GTX 770, which is the last generation, um, sort of, you know, middle to high tier card. So this is the highest tier, Maxwell based GPU, still using the 28 nanometer uh, manufacturing process, so we still haven't seen 20 nanometer yet. That is going to be exciting in the future, but this is the best that they can do on 28 nanometer. This is the best anyone's ever done on 28 nanometer. So I mentioned before the cooler. This is the uh, uh, sort of I think they could. I think it's made of magnesium and aluminium. Um, and if we, you can hear it is actually metal. Uh, and it's just it's amazing looking. Um, the performance is a little bit better than what you'd sort of expect with a normal blower style cooler, but it looks so nice and I'm glad that I got this one. Last year when I went and got my 770 I wanted a um, reference edition that looks like this but uh, I could only get a aftermarket one, hence the lightning edition. Now, um, quick little tour, GTX 980 logo there. Uh, the GeForce GTX logo up here actually illuminates um, bright green which is cool. We have a back plate for the first time on an Nvidia reference card which is amazingly beautiful. It isn't brushed aluminium so it's not going to stain. Um, and yeah, I love the design. It's very, very nice. Um, so here we have um, our two six-pin PCIe power. This is the first thing that said to me when the 990 was announced that this isn't the top-tier card. Two six-pins, that is definitely not the top-tier card. Um, the power consumption on this is a major selling point. It uses, like, no power versus a you know competitor, 290X, no power. Um, it has two SLI fingers there, so it's not... Um, doesn't use the same sort of PCIe scaling method that the 290 card. Okay, so the GTX 980 has a completely new display output um, kind of range. Uh, we now have three DisplayPort 1.2 ports. This means you can actually have three G-Sync compatible monitors uh, in surround. First time you've been able to do that. You also get one DVI port and you now get a HDMI 2.0 port which you only got a 1.4, I think, port on the last uh, sort of few generations. So this time we get one HDMI 2.0 port, which allows 4K 60Hz over HDMI. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to swap out my GTX 770, put it in my GTX 980, and show you just a few synthetic benchmarks just to give you a little range of performance. Uh, my new system isn't actually completely up and running. I'm still waiting for the memory, so this will only be one or two benchmarks, but I will be doing a full review with a full benchmark suite um, later on in the month. Okay, so for my first benchmark, I used Unigen's Valley benchmark. Now, for the stock GTX 980, I didn't do my 770 here. We got a FPS score of 65.2 with a score of 7,229. When I overclocked 215 MHz on the core, the FPS increased to 71 on average, and the score increased up to 2,970. Now, the second benchmark and final benchmark I did, I told you I wouldn't do many, was 3D Mark Firestrike. My GTX 770 Lightning Edition overclocked got 6,813. Moving up to the 980, it's a 50% roughly increase, up to 9,863. And then when I overclocked with 215 MHz on the core, the score jumped another 1,000 up to 10,828. And at this point, I'm plus 96% of users on 3D Mark Firestrike. Okay, so I just wanted to end this video with a little shot of my new system. There will be a video on this new x 99 based system soon. Uh, I'm waiting on the DDR4 Dominator Platinums to come through. They should be delivered tomorrow, uh, tomorrow the 30th of uh, September. 
So you should see a video soon. I'm sorry that this video may have seemed a bit rushed. Like I said, I only did two tests and the main reason is because I'm in a sort of uh, phase between two different systems and I didn't have enough time due to work and other restraints to, you know, sit and test in my old system for so long when I'm trying to just get moved over to this new one. So I hope you did enjoy the video. There will be a full performance overview of this GTX 980 coming hopefully soon. Uh, I can't guarantee it, but hopefully soon. Um, so if you could subscribe for that, that'd be great. Also hit the like button if you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or any games you'd like me to test, I'll if you put them in the comments down below and I have them, uh, I'll even buy them if I, if I you know I want the game anyway. Um, then you put them in the comments and I will test them out and let you know. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching and I'll hopefully see you in the next one.